Hi guys, uh, thank you for coming back to my third video uh, on the HP Spectre X360 15 uh, 2020 model which I've now been the owner of for about just under a week. Uh, I've made a couple of videos if you haven't seen them, an unboxing and a review. Please take a look at those, there's some useful, hopefully useful information in them anyway. So today I've had the question, what can be removed from this device and what is uh, soldered onto the board. So being the crazy person that I am, I thought the ultimate way to find out would be to actually open it up rather than just relying on what they tell us on the website. So here we go. I'm not necessarily recommending this and if you do want to take your laptop apart, just make sure it's switched off first. Ideally, you should be wearing gloves and you should also be thinking about uh, static. Don't be poking around on anything that you shouldn't be. Uh, you could end up shorting something out. But I'm not going to be touching too much in here. I'm not going to be actually disconnecting anything, so I think we'll be okay. So this model is a 512 gigabyte uh, solid state drive and 16 gigabytes of RAM. So. Uh, my hunch is the solid state drive is going to be removable and the RAM is going to be soldered onto the board. Obviously that means that the RAM won't be replaceable. Uh, well, not certainly in any way easy. I don't know if you can uh, desolder the RAM and get new ones soldered on, but it's not something that most people would be able to do at home. The good news is that RAM is uh, pretty stable and solid and very rarely will there be any problems with regards to you know something corrupting on the RAM or anything like that and needing it replaced for a sort of a faulty reason. The only reason you would really need to replace it is if you felt you needed more. Um, but hopefully I'll be happy with my 16 gigabytes of RAM for many years to come. So I've taken the back off, not too many dramas. There were six uh, Phillips screws and two little torque screws, probably about size T3 I think. And I've just lifted off a little uh, plate that was covering over the RAM and the SSD card here. I'll see if I can get you a better view. So there we have the uh, the SSD is just at my thumb here. It is removable. It would just be a matter of unscrewing that little screw there on the left and sliding out the SSD, replacing it with a perhaps larger one. This is 512. Maybe I'll go for one terabyte one day. The This is the uh, memory. I don't know if you can read that, if it's of interest to anyone. The, I'll add a still into there so you can read if you need to know exactly the specs on that. Um, the battery. Okay, it's quite a big battery. will be removed. One, two, three, four, five, six screws there. I'm not going to be removing my battery for you guys today. I think I've already done plenty. And by the way, since I'm taking apart my brand new laptop, which I paid quite a lot of money for, make sure you subscribe. Um, you might catch a few more handy little videos from me over the next few days. You never know, you might be lucky. You might not, we'll see, we'll see. So I'm just putting it all back together exactly the way I found it, making sure all the little covers and everything are back in place correctly. There was no dramas taking that back off, it just snaps off once the screws are removed. The screws are hidden under the little rubber feet, uh, which are really good rubber feet actually. They really stop the laptop moving around and hold it very, very steady. So just make sure that you clip it back down all the way around. Keep pushing until you don't hear any more snaps. It should be snapping all the way around. And once it feels sturdy and secure, then go ahead and put all your screws back in. The six larger Phillips screws and the two little small torque screws on the side, one on each side. So there you go. I hope that's been useful for some people. Um, if you just wanted to get a little look of what it looks like inside. Um, hopefully that's been useful. My next video I plan to do, or will be doing soon anyway, is going to be on the tilt pen, which does come free with this laptop. Not free, I keep saying free. It comes supplied with it in the price. Um, I hope to do a little bit of practicing on my uh, drawing skills, have a little play around on that. It's not something I'm familiar with, so I'll, I'll give it a try and I'll 
hopefully be able to shed some light on how well this uh, pen works, uh, how sensitive it is, does it draw straight lines, does it draw wobbly lines, all those sorts of things that you guys are um, itching to know. If you want to be kept informed about any further updates I do, any further little videos that I make, um, just hit the subscribe and the notification bell and hopefully you'll be informed of whatever goodies I manage to come up with next. Um, appreciate uh, everybody's interest so far, it's given me something of a bit of a hobby to do, if you want to call it that, I don't know. Um, stick your questions down below, I'll try and get round to them and uh, if you have one of these babies, enjoy. It's a great laptop so far. I'll keep you posted. Thank you.